This Camaro concept was one of the stars of the 2006 Detroit Auto Show. It's Chevy's answer to the wildly successful Ford Mustang. This egg crate grille is very much pure Chevrolet. If you move back along the sides and you look at some of these fender lines, these go back to the 60s areas, in particular this kick up by the rear fender. This is pure 69 Camaro. But it's not a clone of that 60s Camaro, and it's not even as similar to the older car as the Mustang is. It's much more modern in a lot of its detailing. You look at these mirrors, you look at the, uh, the headlight units and the lower units, those are all very modern in this car. And I think the Chevy guys didn't want to simply ape that original car. Furthermore, this machine isn't in production yet. It's probably not going to go into production for until 2009 or so. And by then, the retro cars, the pure retro cars, might be over. So doing something that harkens back and has some of the spirit of the 60s, but as a modern car, might be the better way to go. Now, one of the keys in this car is exactly what's going to be under this beautiful skin. And that's really undecided at General Motors. Everyone agrees it has to be front engine, rear drive, has to have a V8 engine. This one, in fact, has the LS2 engine, which is the 400 horsepower, 6 liter Corvette V8. Tom Peters was the exterior design director for this concept Camaro, and he's also the man who did the current C6 Corvette. The 69 is the icon Camaro. Is that this is a pure design vision. The very simple but powerful front a uh, single opening face for the headlamps and the grill reside. Uh, fighter derived in terms of canopy on top of fuselage. Powerful fender shape that sweeps forward, a lot of dashed axle, kind of tapers to the rear and then really explodes out to capture the rear tire. It's front engine V8 power mm -hmm. with rear wheel drive. I think it's appropriate to have a little bit of Corvette spice put into this car. So in some areas, particularly I'd say the rear, you mentioned the, the rear quarter, the, the fender blistering out, uh, sharp creases, mm -hmm. and especially the rear view with, with the, the tail lamps that are round. Uh, those were, uh, quite honestly, were, we looked at the Corvette for those. And I think it's, it's, it can be the Corvette little brother. I think that's the way it was projected in the past, and I think it's appropriate today. But you get a little sense of what uh, this car is going to be like. This car right now is about three inches lower than a production Mustang, and that's probably going to have to be moved up to Mustang height uh, by the time it gets into production. This machine, when it hits the market, has to be priced in the mid to high 20s, can't be much more expensive than the Mustang. And working that out is one of the key details. But we know it's going to be available with the V8. It'll probably have a base V6. It'll have this new global architecture chassis. And we're hoping that all of this comes together in time for a 2009, and we can bring you a road test up then.